Hey everyone, LP here, and uh, we're going to see if we can do this in a one take. That way I don't have to edit it or anything, I can shoot it right up to you. Listen, as the thumbnail and catchy uh, title talk about is, I got uh, interested or noticed today that some people are like taking their foot off the gas as far as preparedness, and I'm here to tell you that's the wrong thing to do. Uh, and I'm going to give you three really good reasons that make a lot of sense, and I hope you will pay attention. Uh, there's a beautiful lab over here that I'm gonna have to probably have to show you guys just cuz but So uh, the first one is is that there's about 50 to 60 days uh, before J6 and uh, J20 and if you don't know what that is check your calendars because that's the day all hell could Definitely break loose will it? I, I don't know maybe but uh, it, There's a lot of people out there that are trying to make it so that Captain Red Tie uh, cannot do what he's supposed to be doing this dog is so beautiful and he's getting he's actually getting smart let's see I may have to I mean he's looking right at me I may have to he's doing a lot better I'm trying not to make eye contact it's all good you see him oh. nice good job <laughs> that dog was out of control a month ago <laughs> Okay, so let's get back on point here. So 50 to 60 days, depending on when you watch this video, when uh, it's either J6 or J20. One of those two things, one of those two dates. All right, so will anything happen? There's no way to tell. But I tell you what, if the, if the, if the people with the blue ties um, have their way, yeah, some stuff's going to go down. So you should definitely be prepared for it. Water, food, security. All right, so the next thing, the third thing economy guys I'm here to tell you that the economy is not great just because Captain Red Tie is gonna be like positioned to be in charge now does not mean that everything is hunky-dory in fact it's actually pretty freaking bad let me tell you something if you're doing your research you know that just because there was an election doesn't mean that the the price of milk or eggs or steak or beef or whatever you're buying went down yeah it didn't have you have you noticed have you noticed the price of gas it was stuck at $2.99 for the last two months. It's mysteriously creeping up into the $3 range just because. Now, is that an indicator? No, it's not. But it should be telling you something to use common sense. Now, whether we like it or not, the, the bad guys in the world don't want us to succeed. And that means that um, they're going to try and hand Captain Red Tie a big old nasty bleep, sandwich. Okay? They know it's coming. The econ uh, economists know it's coming. All the guys who were like, oh, 53 people signed off on uh, Nobel laureate economists say this is a bad idea. Yeah, okay, those are all the same people that are just waiting to hand this over to El Trumpo and say, this is your problem now. He's gonna have to get out in front of it. And that means he's gonna have to tell the American public how bad the economy is. And that means he's gonna to have to get in front of TV and tell you people, you people, that things are not great and this is what he was handed. And they're gonna be like, no, no, you're the president now, this is your problem. <coughs> Generally, they give presidents one year before they stop blaming the other, uh, the, the other side, the, 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 the previous president. But the truth is, they blamed Captain Red Tie for four freaking years for everything. Uh, your cat fell off your roof. It's Trump's fault. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But that's what we can expect because the economy is not going to get better. You know, it probably won't get better, probably. Hmm. I, ex I expect if they have their way, they'll be able to plan it so that uh, it, <laughs> it collapses. Um, I don't know, February, March, something like that. So economy, not great, reason number two. Reason number three, how you doing? What happens after Trump? After these four years, whether he had to fight his way through everything or, or whatever, or God forbid, they take him out, something. What happens after Trump? Hopefully, I, I hate to say it, but based on my current knowledge, hopefully JB steps right in, has a track record of success, and uh, the American people go, listen, you want more good stuff or you want to go back to the bad stuff? And everybody votes the way they did this month. So, yeah, what happens after him? Because I tell you what, these people in the blue ties, these people that want all this power, 
they're going to make it so we can't have a good election. They tried. They tried this time. They've, they've got the trucks on record showing up with ballots that were turned away. They've got the illegals scared to death to vote because a couple of them got caught. And uh, yeah, the word travels fast in the freaking illegal pipeline, you know, the illegal network of peoples. So we were able to stop them this time because we had, uh, you know, just massive amounts of eyes watching what was happening inside the polls. Lots of poll watchers. Um, and uh, that's why we were able to pull it off. Now, once again, 50 to 60 days until J6 or J20. The economy super sucks. We're all going to take a bite of it, of this sandwich, and uh, what happens after Trump. So keep those things in mind, guys. Do not take your foot off the pedal. I'm not saying freak out, but I'm saying take a breath. Take a, take a nice deep breath. Be happy for a second while you're buying your six cans of something at Wally World. Do the right thing. Do not let your guard down. All right, guys, that's going to be about it. As usual, hit your thumbs up on the way out. It doesn't cost you anything. It really helps the channel. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. More stuff like this all the time. And uh, as usual, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.